Hey guys, I'm back today and today I wanted to share with you guys my three most important tips on losing weight fast. And I do want to mention that losing up to one to two pounds a week is considered safe and healthy and anything more unless it's uh, just water weight is probably not the best way to go unless you have a lot of weight to lose then these rules don't apply to you but if you're the average person with just 20 to 30 pounds extra um, that you're carrying and looking to lose then one to two pounds a week is considered healthy so let's just get going uh, my number one tip is and these are not really in any particular order but I guess I'll save the best one for last so um, stop drinking anything other than water plain tea and plain coffee. So I would stop with the specialty coffees at Starbucks and any of those kind of drinks that are loaded in sugar and chemicals and things like that. Um, stop drinking. Obviously you should stop drinking soda. If you're still drinking soda, you have a lot to catch up on because like stop, it's like so 90s, nobody's drinking it anymore, it's really unhealthy, it's loaded with so many chemicals, added sugars, you should just not be drinking soda. Um, so I would also stay away from fruit juices or anything that's just loaded with sugar. Stick with smoothies um, that are with just kale and veggies like spinach and celery and like a little bit of fruit and then I would stick with, and also if you're juicing greens, um, with a lot of fruit in it, I would switch to smoothies because you need that extra fiber, especially when you're trying to lose weight. So um, I did start out initially juicing, but um, for the last four years, we've switched to um, smoothies and it's so much better for you because you're not getting that extra like concentrated sugar. Even though it is from fruits, you're losing all the fiber and that's really important for our diet. So I would stick with smoothies, plain water. Uh, sparkling water if you like that um, I would stick with plain teas and coffees none of that specialty stuff that's loaded with sugar tip number two is to stop eating anything processed chips cookies cakes pretzels anything that's artificially created is loaded with chemicals and additives that make us addicted to food it um, basically makes us crave more food and even if you're eating it in very small quantities it's going to make you crave food ever notice how if you have a little bit of candy or just a, a few chips you're always wanting more and you keep craving more and more and more of just unhealthy foods it's because the additives are designed to make you want to crave more food so there is no moderation is key i believe that you really have to eliminate these things from your diet if you're looking for overall health and wellness and as well as quick weight loss so I would start there and you will notice just in a few days that a lot of your inflammation and bloating in your tummy area and face will go away so um, up the water and get rid of the processed food not even in moderation just get rid of it my number three biggest tr trick is if you have a lot of weight to lose and if you have health issues I would start with removing gluten and I don't mean go and buy all the gluten free products out there a lot of that stuff isn't exactly the healthiest either it's loaded with other things to enhance flavor because obviously gluten free foods lack flavor so they have to add a lot of stuff into it to make it taste better there are some better tasting things out there but I would say just stick with foods that are naturally gluten free and that are not replicas or trying to replicate anything that you would um because then it's almost like you're replacing one real really unhealthy product with one that's less unhealthy but it's not really healthy it's just less unhealthy so just get rid of it and if you want to achieve optimal health and fitness go grain free you will lose so much weight the first three days are very difficult as far as like craving um, more gluten and grains and things like that but once you get it out of your system by the fourth day you stop craving it you start losing massive amounts of weight it literally falls off of your body because um, um, grains and gluten and things like that are designed to hold on to water and so they inflame our bodies and so a lot of it is water weight but our inflammation goes down so I write about this and a lot of the tips that I shared in my book so if you guys want to find out more and I cite studies and I send you looking for the right places if you want more information in my book I can guide you through that process my book is now available on Amazon so go ahead and pick it up if you're looking for more in-depth information about everything I just told you. you can find a link to my book in the description box below and I will catch you guys later. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll catch you guys later.